Hello students, last time we discussed about simple microscope and we also find the magnifying power. Today we will discuss the magnifying power at two particular cases when the image is formed at infinity and the image is formed at distance of distant region. So let us see uh, the formula related to that. The case number one that the image is formed at DDV. Distance of distinct region. In short, we write this as a capital D. Now, <clears throat> we know that the magnifying power, magnifying power of simple microscope is, simple microscope is a single convex lens. So, this stands for simple microscope. Magnifying power of simple microscope is D divided by U. <coughs> U is the object distance. Now, I have to convert this and I want the image, what is given is the image is formed at DDV. That means if I have a lens, I have an object which is placed within the focal length, then image is formed somewhere here that already we discussed. Now, <clears throat> if the image is formed at DTB, if I want this to be formed at D, if my image distance is D, that means VE becomes D. This is the situation. And as usual, this is my U. This is as usual, this distance from here, this is U. So when uh, this is D, what will be the situation? This formula still is valid, but then we have to write the expression in terms of the VE. Now, for a lens, we know that 1 by V, I will uh, rather write here, 1 by V minus 1 by U is 1 upon F. Okay. Now, <coughs> If I put the fine convention is a convex lens, so it is positive, focal length is positive. U use the object distance, so it is lying left to this, so it is negative, so it is negative. The image is formed at the same side, it is also negative, it's negative. Now this becomes positive and this becomes negative. This comes with the other side, this becomes positive. So this will I write this as 1 by U is 1 by V plus 1 by F. Okay. Now, if I multiply, if I multiply this equation by d, then also I will get d by u, here also, d here also I will get d by u, but if I don't multiply, if I write 1 by u as this and put it here, then also I will get the answer, because this, this d by u is nothing but d into 1 by u, so in place of 1 by u, I will just replace this, if I substitute that and solve it, then also I will get, so I will do one thing, because I want d by u, so I just multiply d throughout the equation. If I multiply d throughout the equation, what I will have? I will have d by u is d by f plus d by v. Okay. To the previous equation, to this equation, okay, I will just multiply d here. So this becomes like this. Okay. Now, as we have discussed, that if the image is formed at ddv that means the image this is the image distance is equal to d then this v will be replaced by d if i substitute that this will become d divided by d so this becomes is cancels out so it becomes one 
So 1 plus d by f. So the magnifying power of simple microscope when the image is formed at DTV is given by 1 plus d by f. So that is the conclusion. The magnifying power of simple microscope when it is formed at DTV is given by 1 plus d by f. This is the formula. Okay. Now we'll take the second situation, the second case. Let us see the case number two. In the second case, we want to find the magnifying power when the image is formed at infinity. infinity when the image is formed at infinity that means uh, let us visualize the thing this is my lens and I want the object to be placed somewhere so that the image is formed at infinity this is possible when suppose this is the focus so if the object if any object is placed at focus if the object is placed as focus this object then we know that its image is formed at infinity then the image will be formed at infinity so i'll just draw a diagram for you <coughs> this goes like that and it goes like that okay so uh, at infinity you will find the image so if you extend this in this direction or extend this in this direction so at infinity you will get the image so uh, i will do one thing that i can put i can put image at infinity this situation i can use or i can use this situation happens when the object is placed at focus that means the object distance u should be equal to focal length of the convex lens when the object distance is equal to the focal length of the convex lens then only the image is formed at infinity so so what we'll do we'll use the same equation again and try to put these boundary conditions in the equation of uh, the magnifying power of simple microscope so we know that the magnifying power of simple microscope is d by u now I will write just one thing that if I substitute u as f here, then I get the answer. So if I just substitute this, then I get the answer. This is the magnifying power of simple microscope at infinity. This is the answer to this question. This is very simple. But if I want the other method, so if I don't use this condition, I go for this condition, then what will happen? If I go for this condition the, that I want to use v equals to infinity, then what I will get? I will still get the same answer. But then uh, I have to write this u in terms of v because if I don't use this, I I don't want this also. I will replace this u in, in place of instead of v. So then see what will happen. Now again the case that in case of a in case of a lens, I can use one by v minus one by u one by now I don't want uh, this uh, u, but then uh, this is uh, negative and this is negative. This is always positive. This is positive. So one by u is uh, one by f plus one by v. So if I use this, or, or I can write u as uh, the product of the two divided by the sum of the two. If I use this, if I use this, then also I can get the answer. What I'll do? I will just replace this u by this. So what I will get? Magnifying power. Magnifying power of simple microscope for this case equals to d divided by u and u is this f v and it is f plus v. Now this becomes I put this v at infinity but then let me do one thing 
this, I will take this inside first and then put the <coughs> then what will I get? I just simplify it. This becomes uh, df upon fv plus dv upon fv. Right now, this v and v cancels. Now, I put this v equals to infinity over here. So, something upon infinity it becomes 0 plus this is d by f that remains. So, finally, you can see the answer comes out to be the same that is the magnifying power comes out to be d by f okay so in in this way or that way you always get the same answer your concepts will be clear and they can get the answer at any time so this is a uh, what we discussed about simple microscope and then the next video will be talking about the uh, compound microscope as well okay thank you